here now that we have covered engineering materials questions that were given in gate uh, mechanical engineering and p and i papers we are now taking up metal cutting subject questions in the last i mean the recent gate examination now in the recent gate examination i see that uh, in metal cutting subject one question is given the one question that is given is reading like this it is on calculation of shear strain what is the value of shear strain rate that the material undergoes at the shear zone now normally this comes from mechanics of metal cutting topic very very important area now some data is given very simple data ideal orthogonal cutting experiment some diagram is given and with reference to that diagram some description is also given cutting speed is 1 meter per second rake angle of the tool is 5 degrees and the shear angle is known to be 45 degrees applying orthogonal cutting model consider two shear planes pq and rs all the story is related to the diagram and close to each other as they approach the thin shear zone that is shown in the shown as a thick line in the figure uh, the, uh, right the plane rs gets sheared with respect to pq point r1 shears to r2 point s1 shears to s2 assuming that the perpendicular distance between pq and rs is delta uh, delta is equal to 25 micrometers what is the value of shear strain rate very simple to understand this question for those who have gone through the dis detailed discussion regarding mechanics of metal cutting now this is the diagram given by examiners in the question as it is this diagram is given all the data is available to us we know what is the shear angle uh, the shear angle is uh, represented here right the shear angle being represented here is five given in the problem as 45 degrees alpha is the rake angle right pq and rs are defining the elementary pq rs if you take it is the elemental chip right and rs is called as the shear plane right now at, at, so when you, those of you who know this definition you know very well that shear strain rate is nothing but shear strain per unit time shear strain per unit time now how will we calculate shear strain shear strain is calculated by you uh, know a small definition that is deformation per unit length of two previously mutually orthogonal sides so what is the description he has given thick line rs is indicating shear plane fine now point r1 gets sheared to r2 point s1 gets sheared to s2 that is and the perpendicular distance between pq and rs this is the perpendicular distance this is given as delta this delta gives you thickness of the elemental chip then how do you calculate the shear strain rate there is a mathematical model that we come across shear strain rate shear strain rate epsilon dot is given by vs into 1 by delta where we write vs is known as shear velocity vs is called as the shear velocity this shear velocity is given by the formula v cos alpha divided by cos phi minus alpha right and you know this alpha value phi value v and they are all given in the question therefore what we can do is straight away we can substitute the values that are given here in the model straight away we can substitute the values that are given in the model that is v is given as 1 meter per second into cos alpha value rake angle is given as 5 degrees divided by cos phi is nothing but the shear angle given as 45 degrees minus alpha is 5 degrees now if you make this evaluation this gives you the answer as 1.3 meters per second now once you have vs value delta is nothing but the thickness of the elemental chip delta is called thickness of elemental chip as shown in the diagram its value is given by examiner it is given as 25 microns right or it is 25 into 10 power minus 6 meters now once this information is available with us we can calculate shear strain rate is equal to shear strain rate 
is equal to yeah 1.3 divided by that is vs divided by uh, 25 into 10 to the power of minus 6 so this comes out to be 5.2 into 10 power 4 per second that is second inverse that will be the answer for this question by calculation now let us see this 5.2 to 10 power 4 per second as the right answer where is this particular answer among the choices given yes let us see the among the choices given yes let me try to uh, bring it back to you that the, in this particular question you are asked to decide what is this yes you are asked to actually decide what is the value of shear strain so the shear strain value as decided by us is this one 5.2 into 10 power 4 per second is the right answer for this particular question so if the choices are given you will be able to take it if the if the examiner asks what is the shear strain rate you can finally decide the shear strain rate if it is given as a fill of the blank you can write this in the fill of the blank got the answer so that is how this question is answered as correctly a shear strain rate is 5.2 10 power 4 per 